if you call me a hoe yeah, versus right, me call you a hoe, right? I would never. But but what I'm saying is, right? Centuries of conditioning have taught women that mm. we have to over explain ourselves on why you're calling us that. Well, mm. Merry Ho Ho Ho. It's three Merry Christmases too. They got three hoes. Oh, 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 if you think about how crazy no. this is, yo, you gotta deal with the energy. It's three hoes. Like, you dealing this with the world. Santa Claus been calling the bitch. Ho, ho, ho. It's Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus. Right it's Santa Don't you blame Santa Claus. That's so crazy. Santa. You're going to the Christmas show. Wait, this is ho, ho. ho. Yo, that's Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Santa Claus. Yo, since we was, since we could remember. Yo, you know what's real? What's up? What's up, man? Can I get your phone number? Can we debate over the phone? Yeah. Yes, we can. I love it's debating. Love. We can see that. And me too. Can we debate love. over religion and and you women's rights? You don't understand how much I'm. All right, but don't debate about debating. <laughs> change nothing, bro. All right. All right. Change nothing, All right. Guys. All right. So f man, we don't got time for this shit. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. Now, Amber Rose, uh, if you watch the whole thing, you know, I know this is only a clip, but you can tell she was just looking for an argument throughout the whole discussion. I mean, this clip doesn't really highlight that, but you know, Mook was talking. You could just tell she was just trying to pick apart every little thing he was saying. But anyway, let's get to the clip since that's what's being shown here. Uh, you know, her saying that for centuries, hundreds of years and thousands of years, women have been conditioned to be called terms like ho and we just accept it. Like, I'm not saying it's right, but there's a lot of things that ain't right. There's a lot of slangs that we use that ain't right that, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, we call each other niggas. The problem comes, you know, uh, with men where a man most likely will get offended at you. I'm not saying they're equal words, but you calling a woman a bitch than he would if you called a man a nigga. Like we're taught to protect females actually more than we're taught to protect men, you know, ourselves. So we're more likely to jump at another man for referring to a woman as a bitch than a man referring to another man as a nigga. I mean, they're both derogatory terms, but you know, it is what it is. Like, that's just, that's just, you know, it, it's just the way it is. Unfortunately, like we can't really change it. And what she's trying to do, I just don't see it being effective. I mean, hey, what Cat Williams say? I don't know your names individually, so I'm just gonna say ho, oh, but nah. It's been a male dominant society males have always been the dominant you know of the genders so you know of course women are going to get the lesson in the stick now i do believe in 2022 it's flipped completely around for the most part i mean women are on top when it comes to value you know like they say women are born with value men got to build it so you know unless women are willing to fight for a man's rights I'm not really trying to hear shit, you know, like feminists, you know, like feminism, we needed that, you know what I'm saying? There was a time where we definitely need it, but now we reached a point where we're trying to make women as completely equal as men. And it's just not, we're not equal. That's just bottom line is we're not equal. Like, you know what I'm saying? We both men compliment women, women compliment men. Like it, that's how it's always been, how it's always going to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't think women want to be completely equal to men. Trust me on that. But that's a whole topic for a whole nother day. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.